old guy in Colorado. Doodah. Hey folks, old guy is here. <laughs> Homages to my sweet Mrs. Old Guy. <laughs> so today, I well today and tomorrow, um, I'm gonna be making some tiramisu. I've never made it before, and I'm gonna make it completely from scratch, including my own Italian cream cheese, um, mascarpone, mascarpone, however you say it. I'm not sure on the exact pronunciation, but it's gonna start with two cups of cream. I, I got this uh, from a local place. It is fresh cream. So we will uh, get this up to about 185 to 190. And when I get back to that, when I get to that point, I'll be back. Okay, I'm right at that point where it's just starting to bubble a little bit. Okay, that's about 185, 190. I've got a tablespoon of lemon juice. And I'm gonna cook this for three minutes. So I'll be back. Okay, it's been uh, three minutes. Come on down this little guy. Um, when you stir that lemon juice in and you're cooking it for that three minutes uh, you'll start to see a, like it's not going to get thick but you'll notice a, a difference in the texture it will get a little bit thicker okay and uh, once your three minutes is up slide it off to the side and I'm going to let that sit for 30 minutes so I'll see you after 30 minutes okay <laughs> it's been 30 minutes um, you can see it's slightly thick. I'm just going to, I just don't want to spill any, so I'm going to ladle most of this in. This is just a kitchen towel that's been quartered. And I'm going to let it sit there. Oh, probably for another 30 minutes. To an hour I really want to make sure it's all the way down to room temperature and then I'm going to stick it in the fridge I'm going to cover it with plastic to make sure it doesn't get a skin on it and uh, I'll pull it out in the morning and part one of the tiramisu will be ready <laughs> okay we'll see you then okie doke it has been 24 hours let me turn on this light I don't know if it's called. come on down Mrs. Old Guy so we're going to find out together did this make mascarpone? Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. <laughs> All right. So we got ourselves some Italian style green cheese. Yay. So next step, lady fingers. I'll be back. All right. The next part of this <laughs> thing is making the lady fingers. So come on down, Mrs. Old Guy. Um, I separated four eggs. Those are the egg yolks that I whipped with uh, about three or four tablespoons of sugar. And I've got the egg whites here whipping. And I'm gonna add the sugar to, some more sugar to this. And then I'll fold them together along with a little bit of flour. and and a tad bit of salt and we'll have our uh, ladyfinger cookie dough ready to go so uh, i'll be back when i'm ready to add flour okay folks so here's the egg white that's whipped up with the sugar and the egg yolk here i have one cup of flour a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of baking powder and just a pinch, I mean just a pinch of salt. Okay, and I'm gonna add these. Alternating, I'm gonna add the, the yolk and a little flour 
and I'm just slowly gonna fold these in. I don't wanna knock all the air out of my egg whites, so I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time. that in. Got the idea. So when I get this completely incorporated, I will be back and we'll move to the next step. Okay, so we've got this folded in very nicely. Like I said, I kind of went alternating. All right, and I got my pastry bag here. Got a half inch tip on it, just a half inch round. Uh, if you don't have a pastry bag, you can use a, a plastic bag and just cut the corner out. And using a glass to help hold it up. <laughs> it's a good idea. got my uh, baking sheet here if you want to use parchment paper that works just as well so you're looking for about four inches or so a little bit apart All right, you got the idea. I'll get this loaded up and into a 400 degree oven. We'll see it when they come out. Okay, so there's our lady fingers. They did expand and kind of touch together, but really that's gonna be okay. They'll, they'll pull apart and it's not like I'm gonna eat them like that. They're going into the tiramisu, so I think Things are going great. I'll be back. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next part. We're gonna get the cream filling done for the tiramisu. And it starts with making a sabayon. Come on down here, Mrs. Obey. I've got six egg yolks in here and a cup of sugar. I'm just gonna kind of get them mixed up here real quick like. And I've set up kind of a double boiler thing here. And get this turned on and once it starts to boil uh, it's going to slowly going to cook this and I've got to you know, be about 10 minutes on the cook time so once it gets done I'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like okay we're right at 10 minutes and you can see it's thick smooth creamy looking and also, as a, t as a helpful hint, pull your Mars Capone out 10, 15 minutes beforehand. You don't want it to be too cold, otherwise it's going to curdle and that'll mess it all up. It's all right, so I'm going to let this cool a little bit, and then we'll mix the Mars Capone in with it. I'll be back for that part. <laughs> All right, so we're going to mix the Mars Capone here. It calls for a cup and a quarter. My little batch only made a cup. I think it'll still be okay. It's only four tablespoons off, so we are going to be all right. All right, so we'll get that in my bowl. And we'll add the Savignon, which is already, as you can see, getting nice and thick. Pour that in here. And it's important that you don't have your Mars Capone too cold or the Sauvignon too warm. Otherwise it will cause your Mars Capone to curdle definitely don't want that. All right, I'm just going to give this a whisk.
That looks really good. Okay, now the next part, the whipped cream. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the let's move on to the whipped cream part, and uh, we got some coffee brewing. Now we don't have cappuccino or any of the other O's, <laughs> but we do have some good strong coffee. So if you don't have cappuccino, that will work. I'll be back. Okay, whipped cream is done. Looks delicious. Okay, and we are going to just kind of gently, if possible, fold this whipped cream into the mascarpone and savoyon mixture. Get this out of here. Okay, that was one and three quarters cup of heavy whipping cream. All right, I'm gonna switch. I think get off the whisk. Get back to the spatula, and we're just gonna, like I said, fold this in, and I'll stick it in the refrigerator. Just a little while until I'm ready to start putting this tiramisu together. All right, so I'll be back when I'm ready to start doing some ladyfinger soaking. Okay, I think we're finally ready to start assembling the tiramisu. I've got the coffee, I've got my ladyfingers, I've got the cream. We're all set and ready to go. I had to modify this pan just to look that in. It's a little bit too big, so I just made a cardboard barrier and that should work just fine. The lady fingers, I uh, put them into a warm oven just to dry them out a little bit. I wanted them to be able to absorb some of this coffee. All right. It looks chunky because it's got a, a little bit of ice in it. They cool down a bit much. So <laughs> just in and that's in out and into the bottom. Just want to coat it, whatever is left on there will soak in just fine. Here I am talking like I've made this a hundred times. <laughs> uh, this is the first. <laughs> All right. Okay, there's one row there. Get this next one started. You get the idea. Once I get these done, I will be back and we'll lay on the cream. All right, so there's that first row of lady fingers. We'll start layering on the cream. My little divider will start holding up at some point. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Yes, it does. Be tasty. It is. All right, so there's that first layer. You got the idea. I'm going to continue building this up and I'll be back. Okay. Looking really good. Used up all my cream. Mm. So, back into the fridge for, oh, at least four hours. I'm going to try and give it six or eight. Overnight is best if you can. Um, I'm going to get that into the fridge and then before I serve it, we'll give it a little dust of cocoa powder. I'll be back for that part. We'll see you then. Okay, last little step. I'm going to put some cocoa on the top, but to make sure that I've got that coffee flavor, I've got a little bit of some, just some instant coffee here. Got about a quarter teaspoon, maybe a little bit more. I'm going to put it in my spice grinder. I did make sure it's reasonably clean on the on the downside there. And I just want to get the lid on here. I just want to put the lid on. <laughs> <laughs> something's wrong. These are up too high or something. 
<laughs> okay. Nope. Right there. Nope, come on. What is going on with my... <laughs> okay. I just want to pulverize that little bit. Okay, come off of that. Come off. Off the turf. <laughs> okay. So there's that little bit right there, and I shouldn't have bothered doing that, because guess what? It just went right through to the counter. Yeah. Great <laughs> job. Thanks. So I'll get about a tablespoon of the cocoa powder. I'm going to put that in there. It's going to go all over the counter, too. <laughs> okay. So we're going to just kind of sift this on. Mm -hmm. Cocoa powder over all of it. Okay, so I guess you got the idea here. All right, let me get some of this on a plate. Well, there it is, it looks okay. Not bad for the first time, I guess. Let's, let's, give, it a, let's give it a taste. That's really good. It doesn't quite have the coffee flavor that I was looking for, almost. So I think next time I make it, I'll probably make the coffee a little bit stronger. And maybe add a little bit more of the uh, uh, coffee crystals in the uh, powdered sugar, but this is mm. <laughs> mm. delicious. It was worth the effort of doing it all from scratch. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> Thanks for watching all this rigmarole. <laughs> and I'll, I'll see you next time. Bye now.